All right, in this video, let's learn about custom component events in Vue. So far, we have learned about props. That is, passing data from the parent component to the child component. Sometimes though, you might also want to communicate from the child component back to the parent component. This is where custom events come into picture. Let's understand the syntax and usage in this video. For our example, we are going to consider the scenario of implementing a pop-up. Of course, to keep it simple, we will not create a pop-up component with all the styling and markup. We will create a simple div tag with some content and assume it is a pop-up component. Let me explain the scenario before we dive into the code. In our app, we have the app component. This component will have a button to open the pop-up. The pop-up is going to be a simple component with a vshow directive to conditionally render it in the browser. On click of this open pop-up button, we show the pop-up component. In the pop-up component, we will have some text and a close pop-up button. On click of the close button, we have to hide the pop-up component. Straightforward requirements, so let's head over to VS Code and implement this. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. The file name is popup.view. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet vbase-css to populate a component code. Let's name this component as popup and in the template add an h2 tag that says this is a popup followed by a button whose text is close popup. Let me format the code and now let's include this component in app component. Begin by importing it in the script block. Import popup from dot slash components slash popup dot view. And then we add it to the components object. Next, in the template, add the component as a custom HTML tag. At this point of time, the popup will always be visible. Let's add a data property to conditionally render it. The property is called show popup and let's initialize it to false. On the popup component, add the vshow directive equal to show popup to conditionally render it. Since show popup is initialized to false, the popup is hidden on page load. Let's add a button to set the show popup value to true. So before the pop-up component tag button, the text is going to be show pop-up and on click of this button, set show pop-up to true. If you now save the file and head to the browser, we have the button being displayed. I click on the button and the pop-up component is now displayed. The component has an h2 tag and a button. And what we want to do is on click of this close pop-up button, hide the pop-up component. We know that to hide the pop-up, we need to set show pop-up to false. However, this property is present in the app component, whereas the button is present in the pop-up component. So what we have to do is send a message from this child pop-up component to the parent app component asking the app component to set the show pop-up property value to false. And the way we do that is using custom events. Let's see how. In the pop-up component, we begin by adding another option called emits. This is an array of events that the component can emit to the parent component. Let's add one event called close. You can call it anything you want to, 
but close seems appropriate for our scenario. Now on click of the button, you're going to emit the close event. To listen to the button click event, we use event binding. So add click and the right hand side, we use a special instance variable called $emit and we pass in the name of the event. We've called it close. So basically on click of the close pop-up button, we are emitting a custom event called close to the parent component. The parent component is the app component. So in the app component, we need to listen to the close event. To listen to events, we again use event binding. So on the pop-up component, we add the add symbol. But this time, the event is a custom event instead of a DOM event. And the event name is close. So instead of add click, we listen to our own event, so add close. And when this event is emitted by the pop-up component, the parent component has to set show pop-up to false. So show pop-up is equal to false. As simple as that. If we now go back to the browser, refresh, click on show pop-up, the component is displayed. And if I click on close pop-up, the component is hidden. This is pretty much how you communicate from the child component to the parent component through custom events. Now we don't have to currently send any data to the parent with our custom event, but you might come across such a scenario. So let me quickly show you how to pass data along with the custom event. In the pop-up component on $emit, we specify a second argument, which would be the data. For now, let's pass in the name Vishwas as the data to the parent component. Now in the app component, let's begin by moving the close event handler to a method. Let's call the method as close popup and let's define it. Methods, which is an object, and the method name is close popup, which is a function. And this function automatically receives the argument, which is the name we have passed from the popup component. In the function body, let's set show popup to false, like before. And let's simply log the name argument to the console. Name, comma, name. If we now go back to the browser, Open the pop-up, open the console and click on close pop-up. We should be able to see name Vishwas in the console. This is the data we have sent from the child to the parent component. To summarize custom events, specify the emits option in the child component and emit an event using the $emit instance property. Bind to the custom event using event binding in the parent component and assign the appropriate handler. Any data you want to send from the child to the parent can be included as the second argument to $emit. Alright then, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.